We begin at five tracking the tropics. A live look outside as we continue to see steady rounds of rain and storms across our area. This as we track Gonzalo as the storm moves through the Atlantic. Our chief meteorologist Craig Setzer is tracking that and has the newest advisory. Craig. Yeah, guys, the new advisory, really not much change. Gonzalo is still a strong tropical storm. It has been struggling with dry air that's near the system, and that through the day has kind of kept a lid on the intensity. Winds got up to 65 miles an hour now, and this is all estimated by the satellite, of course, uh, now down to 60 miles an hour. Hurricane hunters aren't out there yet. They'll be investigating tomorrow. Moving to the west at 13 miles an hour, about 800 miles east now of the Windward Islands. Here's the future track. There still is this window of opportunity, especially later tomorrow tomorrow night into Saturday where it could become a hurricane, a weak hurricane probably, at that, and a small hurricane. It's not going to be one of these big sprawling storms, but gets its approach and closest to the islands during the day on Saturday and Saturday night before it moves into the Caribbean. And then it's forecast weaken, in fact, to dissipate by Monday. Now, up here, we would say, oh, thank goodness. But let's wait till that happens. Let's wait till it gets past us before we get uh, excited or hopes up on this forecast track here. I'm not saying it's not going to happen, but let's wait till it gets to that point. Here's the latest satellite loop you can see kind of struggling there in the dry air. That's not the only system we're watching. Uh, intensifying and organizing tropical depression about to become tropical storm. Hannah is in the northern Gulf of Mexico. Winds at 35 miles an hour. It is forecast to become a tropical storm and reach the Texas coast on Saturday and then be a big rain and flood maker as it drifts to the west. As far as we're concerned, it has been another wet day. Look at the radar, very, very active. Showers and thunderstorms on the increase now in Miami-Dade, eventually in Broward, more activity upstream. It has been a wet day over the Keys, but there's good news. The sun is gonna come out tomorrow and our rain chances are gonna go down. More on that forecast coming up.